Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, and I am here with... Rock Kids, it's Ross Clark. There you go. So we are actually here to collaborate on a little video that he has found out recently. He's got a cool trick that he does, and he basically stacks vaults, not stacks them on anything, but in the air. He levitates them. Now, I'll let him kind of explain. He's got a really cool server. Um, it's kind of how he found this trick, and I'll let him explain that while I kind of start setting this up. But uh, go ahead and talk about that, Ross. Yeah, so I've got many players on my server, and one of them had this set up going on. I asked them how they did it, and they explained, and I thought, well, I'll take it to another level and see what we can actually do with this trick to create a PvP-style base to use it as, as a defense, and also a PvE-style base. So I created a opera-style uh, looking building, and I even attempted a sphere. And as teacher is showing you now, it's essentially using a force field as your base, whereby you're going to drop a vault onto it, as you would drop vault any vault. So I, I kind of feel like one of those showgirls right now. I, I don't have like that ability to like hold my hand out and show the nice new Porsche. But that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Uh, we've been getting a good laugh about this. So basically, he's got this brilliant idea. He, he's got some really cool technical stuff that we're going to do with it. But we're just going to show you real quick how to actually set this up. Yep. So all you need, a ch uh, shield generator. I have an SS one, but Ross Clark has done it with a normal tech shield generator. Right, Ross? That's right. Cool. And uh, we've also got some walls and foundations and a little bit of lag, apparently. Welcome to Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically all you have to do is you have to have some sort of structure above your tech force field. Now it doesn't matter where or how you place this structure as long as it is directly above this force field in the region where you see the bubble above. Now you can go ahead and take this right here, plop this bad boy down. You can go out as far as you want to. You do not need to go out far, but you can go the normal three outwards if you wanted to in order to drop vaults down. Now, what you're going to then do, you're going to take normal vaults. You can't use any special vaults like S vaults because they, they clip to each other. But with a normal vault, just place this bad boy down. It doesn't matter as long as you obviously aren't in the red. You have to be able to place it in the green. And then you plop this bad boy right here. You can see I've got three vaults right there. Now, what Ross has done is he's been able to figure out that if you just demo this right here and take this down, those vaults will drop, but they will land on top of the shield generator. It does work like this in the note. If you haven't seen Ross's video, I will tag it below just so you can check that out as well. Uh, but really neat. You can see that it hit, sits there. And now here's the even better part. They will hover in the air. Now, the Ross, what is the one caveat to this that you found with this guy being here? That the force field needs to stay there. If you demo it, those vaults will fall. And uh, so I'll show you that real quick. But basically, I, I was an idiot. And the first time I did this, I was like, all right, I'm just going to pick up the force field. And all of a sudden, boom, I got trapped inside a vault. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about that. But I did get trapped inside a vault. So uh, anyways, you have to make sure it stays there. So there's lots of ways you can use this. But if you do have a force field, you can easily plop one down and make yourself some floating vaults. It takes all of 10 seconds to actually do this. So if you're looking for like a speed on this, we're going to do a couple more episodes about some ideas that we both have kind of building this thing. But you just need to be able to plop down a vault on it. And uh, it, it really is that easy. We're going to go ahead and place one down right here. It's, it's going to be entertaining, I suppose. Drop down more, some more Ellie in here. Let's just put one. I don't know why I didn't do transfer one. That was quite stupid of me. And then as long as you demo this guy, just as another example, pick that bad boy up. That vault will fall. And all of a sudden... You have a floating vault. Now, Ross is also running a really neat event. We're going to release this video later today. He's got something cool on his server over on PS4. I will let him talk about that real quick. Go ahead, Ross. Yeah, thanks, teacher. So it's a King of the Hill style event on PS4. Uh, 100 players and only one can win. And you've only got one life. And it starts at 10 p.m. BST uh, or 5 p.m. EST tomorrow, uh, Friday. Hmm. Uh, and it's it's only 100 slots, so once you're in, you're in. So come and join. Get involved. There you go. And how, how do they find your server? By searching Arc Energy. There you go. Arc Energy on PS4. And uh, so that's over at 10 o'clock British, 5 o'clock uh, Eastern, or, right. you know, the real American for those of you that think there's other time zones or whatever. Uh, but anyways, other than that, Teach and Ross, out.